Previously, we had learned that we can print words and sentences using the code print bracket hello world. Any words or sentences that we include in between the quotation marks will be printed exactly as seen. When we use numbers, we can simply put those numbers in between the brackets without any quotation marks. Print bracket 5 bracket will just print the number 5. In math, we sometimes use variables to represent a certain number or even a certain part of a formula. We do the same thing in coding in a big way. This time, we're going to be looking at a code that has more than just one line. Greeting equals quotation mark hello world quotation mark. Print bracket greeting end bracket. Would this give us an error? Even though it does not have quotation marks around the word greeting, it actually would not give us an error. What would this print then? Would it print the word greeting? Well, actually, no. In this example, greeting is acting like a variable that is storing the words hello world. It can sometimes be helpful to think of a variable as a box. This box can hold different values, including words, sentences, and numbers. When we ask the computer to print greeting, we are asking for the computer to look into the box called greeting and print whatever is inside of that box. It is also important to note that although we are using an equal sign between greeting and hello world, in coding it's sometimes easier to think of this sign as meaning to assign a value to a variable. So what would happen if we entered this code? Print bracket greeting bracket greeting equals hello world. Would this example do the same thing as the previous code? Well, no. This code would get to the first line and give us an error. This shows us that computers execute code in order from top to bottom. Although it is easy for us to see that there is a variable called greeting that has the words hello world in them, the computer does not know then yet by the first line. It starts by trying to print a variable called greeting that has not been created yet. Variables can also be manipulated and changed. Let's take a look at this next longer piece of code. x equals 16 y equals 10. Print x, print y. x equals x plus y, print x. In this code, we are creating two variables. In the first line, we are creating a variable called x, and in it, we are putting the number 16. In the second line, we are creating a variable called y, and are putting in the value 10. The next two lines will simply print 16 and then 10 on separate lines. The fifth line is where things get interesting. In this line, we are taking the variable x and reassigning a new value to it. This is like taking a box, emptying it out, and putting something new in that box. In this box, we are going to take whatever was in x, add it to whatever is in y. Our final print command is now going to display the new value that is in the variable x.